Hello everyone, thank you for the support and welcome to the home of Inspirations by Jen F. So on this particular blog is about the mystical you, the Celtic tree, astrology, signs and meaning. But first things first, I would like to say thank you to everyone for the support for the Zodiac What Your Sign premiere. Now if you have seen movies or shows about the medieval era, like the Merlin, for example, filmed in the UK, you would see or hear this particular word, Druids. They are the member of the learned class among the ancient Celts. They added as the priests, teachers, and judges. Their name may have come from a Celtic word meaning knower of the oak tree. Very little is known about the Druids who kept no records of their own. So this particular premiere is about whenever you go walking in the forest or in the woods or in the park somewhere, is to know the tree, the Celtic tree associated to your birth. We are going to go in the order that is mentioned. Are listed on the Celtic zodiac or astrology. We will detail your birth, your birthdays, the Ogham or the Celtic alphabet, your colors, your numbers. So let's start with the birch, December 24th to January the 20th. In Celtic mythology, birch is also a tree of beginnings and came to symbolize renewal and purification. Birch is the first tree of the Ogham or the Celtic tree alphabet. The birch also has strong fertility connections with the celebrations of Beltane. Beltane is the Gaelic May Day festival. Most commonly it is held on May the 1st or about halfway between the spring equinox and summer solstice. Historically, it was widely observed throughout Ireland, Scotland, and the Isle of Man. Next on the Celtic tree, it is the Rowan tree, known as the tree of life, and symbolizes courage, wisdom, and protection. These are for the January the 21st to Feb the 17th. The wood of the Rowan tree is strong and resilient and has since ancient time been used to make crosses with red thread tied around it. Next tree on your Celtic astrology, it is the Ash. The ash is for the February the 18th to March the 17th. The ash symbolizes strength, power, as well as the mystical power, sp spirituality, longevity, endurance, and productivity. It was also used to build boats. In ancient Greek mythology, ash was associated with with Poseidon, the god of the sea, possibly due to his strength and ability to grow in great lengths or heights over 130 feet in length. It is known to be as the world tree. Next, Celtic tree is the alder, March the 18th to April the 14th. This is a time of rebirth, sunrise, and initiation, and indeed resurrection. Alder is the tree which fairies love. This nature, spirits appreciate the beautiful and the subtle, the play and the celebration of life coming back from the soil. The next Celtic tree, it is the willow. The willow are for those born between April the 15th 
to May the 12th. Willows is most often associated with water, new growth and healing, optimism, movement and adaptability. In modern times, the willow has been associated with the witchcraft and Wicca or white magic and sometimes sadness, but this was not the case to the original Celts who valued the tree immensely and associated it with optimism and growth. Next is the Hawthorn. The Hawthorn are the Celtic tree for those with the birthday of May the 13th to June the 9th. The Hawthorn is a tree of magical enchantments and associated associated with the Beltane again, which is the ancient festival celebrating spring. In Celtic mythology, it is one of the most sacred trees and symbolizes love and protection. The next Celtic tree, it is the oak. The oak is for June the 10th to July the 7th. The majestic tree is much loved in Celtic mythology for its strength and longevity. In mythology, the Irish oak symbolizes truth, courage, and wisdom. This derives from the ancient Celts who observed the oak's incredible strength, beauty, and noble presence. So now if you see an oak tree or the acorns, you will know that that oak tree has a Celtic mystical about it. The next tree is normally seen during the festive seasons. But for the Celtic tree of the holly of July the 8th to August the 4th, Traditionally, the holly tree is highly sacred in Celtic mythology and symbolizes peace and goodwill. Due to its resistance to lightning, it is associated with the Celtic and Norse god of thunders, Tyrannus and Thor, and so was planted near the dwellings to protect the people from lightning strikes. And yet, we only see the holly during the festive seasons for decorations but in Celtic mythology it is the tree for those born in the middle of the summer next Celtic tree is the hazel for August the 5th to September the 1st when we look to the ancient stories of Celtic lore we hear tales of how the hazel is associated with wisdom and inspiration. The sacred tree is said to be cloaked with powerful magic, which can imbue those who will eat the fruit. And that's the fruit of the hazel tree. The next Celtic tree is the vine the vine is for september the 2nd to september the 29th in the celtic tree calendar the vine represents harvest time and beginning of autumn the autumn equinox and the festival of mabon which is the pagan thanksgiving within the within the vine month a festival of thanksgiving and of learning The next Celtic tree on a Celtic astrology it is the ivy symbol of strength and determination because it had the ability to form dense thickets or roots in woodland grow where other plants could not and block out the light from even the mighty oak ivy was believed to be very powerful by the druids more powerful than its enemy, the vine, and quite 
sinister. The next Celtic tree is the reed. For October 28th to November the 24th, she may look like just a grass or a weed. So whenever you're out in the field and you see these, the reed tree in Celtic mythology is associated with Bridget, the goddess of poetry, smithcraft, and healing. Bridget's crosses were traditionally woven from reed and are still made today as crosses of St. Bridget hung inside of homes for protection from fire and evil spirits. And last but not least, on the Celtic tree is the elder. The elder is for those born November 25th to December the 23rd. A tree sacred to the Celts in Ireland, the elder was considered a sacred tree and like the hawthorn, it was forbidden to cut one down. The elder tree was prized for its many uses like culinary, medicinal and of course the mystical both the flowers and berries of the elder tree can be used to make wine so there you have it those are the Celtic trees the meanings and the symbolism to just remember that regardless of which tree you fall under, just make sure that your roots are strong, that no amount of storm that life may hit you with, you will not be easily uprooted. So whenever you're out there somewhere, or for a walk, the very tree that surrounds you provides you shade. It's as mystical as you are. So this is the Celtic signs that will just have your the birth dates. The Ogham, which is the Celtic alphabet. The color associated to the animals and of course your gemstones we hope you enjoy and learned new things for the astrology it's not just about being a Leo a Pisces an Aries a Gemini something mystical for when you are born thank you for watching for the support and may you and your family stay safe always